Maya, Max, or Blender whenever we create a mesh to associate a UV set with it. A UV set is in the UV space, which is a 2D space, and it is in the range of 0 to 1, which is also called as texture space. There is a slight conceptual difference between the UV space and the texture space, but because UV space will eventually be used to map a texture onto the mesh, we will consider them the same. Every vertex of the mesh is given a place in this UV space, which is defined as a UV or texture coordinate of that vertex. For example, for this vertex, I assign a place or a coordinate in this UV space. Similarly, I will assign a coordinate or a location for all the vertices in this UV space. The process of assigning a coordinate to each vertex of the mesh in UV space is called as UV mapping. There are two basic rules of UV mapping. One, every coordinate assigned to the vertex should be in the range of 0 to 1. There should not be any coordinate assigned outside that range. For example, if this is the UV space and I assign a vertex coordinate outside this space for this particular vertex and inside the space for remaining two, this will be an invalid mapping and we will not be able to map the texture onto the complete mesh. Second rule is try to consume as much UV space as possible while assigning the coordinates to the vertices. For example, if I assign all the coordinates to the vertices in a portion of the UV space, I will not be able to map complete texture onto the mesh. Only a small portion of the texture will be mapped onto the complete mesh. That means try to consume as much space as possible so that we can map complete texture onto the mesh and we don't waste any UV space. So this is an overview of texture mapping and now we understand what is UV mapping, what are UV and texture coordinates. After that, we will understand what is the process of texture mapping in a shader. As we saw that in the UV mapping, we assign a coordinate to every vertex of the mesh within 0, 1 UV space. If we create a triangle in Maya, Max or Blender and then we map the UVs in it, and then we import the mesh in Unity. All the UV information comes with the mesh, like any other attribute of the vertex. Every vertex contains the position information, which defines where it is located in the 3D space, its texture coordinate information, which defines where it is located in 2D UV space, and it has few more attributes like normal information, and color information. So now, as we have that information in the mesh, to be able to use it in the shader, we will have to start reading that information. And the way we read the information is by defining the attribute in the vertex input. So we will start packing the texture information in the packet and sending it to the vertex shader. So now this packet with the position information will contain texture coordinate information. And this packet is in the form of struct in our shader. So this is the position information and now we will have texture coordinate information as well. Once we start reading the texture coordinate from the mesh, this packet will be passed to the vertex shader. And after that, it will be passed to the fragment shader via rasterizer. And the rasterizer passes the interpolated information to the fragment shader. When the information will reach to the fragment shader, every fragment will have its own texture coordinate. So let's see how rasterizer interpolates the texture coordinate information and passes it to the fragment shader. For example, we have our triangle and we assign the coordinates of its vertices in the UV space. So, so far we know that the UV space is in the range of 0 to 1. But where is the 0 and where is the 1, we don't know yet. 
So the simplicity of a UV space is that it's from 0 to 1 and it's a 2D space as simple as that. But the complexity of the technique we do is for the UV or the spectral space is different for every cell. In UVB it starts from the bottom left. This LG over here it starts from the bottom left. Directed starts from the top left. A UV over here it starts from bottom left, also directed, it starts